speed we have. So we finally located on this herd and one that we were looking for. And look at that, it's got they've got a tiny little baby. Isn't that sweet? That is a very, very small little one. I'm not just want to see it coming out a little bit before I give it an age. They should be coming across the road fairly shortly. But that is a very small baby. I would say probably about it well anywhere between four and six months. It's still very little. But let's see when it comes out. It's going to be nice to have a look. And they are slowly but surely feeding along. Looks like they might go towards Treehouse Dam for a drink. And the sun has just come out and the, the temperature as soon as that sun came out has absolutely exploded. It's much, much hotter. Right, here it comes. There we go. Okay, it's not as small as I first thought, so I would imagine that it's probably a little bit older than six months, between six months and a year, but still very little. And look at this, this whole herd is coming across. There's still a couple more to come over. It's a beautiful herd, this. This is about an average size herd that we see here in this particular area of the Kruger. We don't get really massive, massive big herds that you'll see in the Chobe National Park in Botswana. There you get really large ones of well over 100 sometimes. So our herds generally around here are sort of between 10 and 20 animals and sometimes we get these mega herds where you'll get 60, 70 of them congregating in one area. But I'm sure they are ecstatic about the morning weather. If you're an elephant, a bit of dreary rain is quite nice. It keeps everything nice and cool. And so it is a very, very pleasant experience to have a bit of rain in the mornings. Also, it will have been nice and cool, so they won't be getting punished by that heat that we've been having over the last few days. So for an elephant, it's been a very, very nice morning. Also, that bit of rain is going to mean that there's going to be lots of muddy wallows all over the place that they can go and bathe in, and it's going to cause a bit of growth of grass. That soft rain that we get is good for growth of grass, so they'll be happy about that. There's going to be plenty of food for them in the next little bit. And you can see that they are basically mixed feeders. So we were talking earlier about how they eat grass and grass is one of their main components of their diet in the summer. But you can see that they mix it up. So there, there's a few herbaceous plants going in as well. And they are feeding off those too. And they will also utilize a few leaves and varying other plants to be able to supplement their diet and get all the nutrients that they need. So I'm just going to go a little bit further forward so that we can keep them in view. I was hoping that they would be a little bit further north because then it would have been quite interesting because they would have been going towards the hyena den and we would have been able to go and pop in and see. I think after this rain maybe the hyena den might be active so I might just poke my nose in there anyway. But Rebecca, you're wondering if the babies hold their mom's tails when they can't see above the grass. Well, I've never seen them really holding the tails for long periods of time in long grass. Where I have seen it is, funny enough, in river systems. So as they cross a waterway that's quite shallow, then the little babies panic sometimes and they grab mom's tail and they go across. Um, now, in deeper river sections, so if you go into the Sabi River or the Sand River and when it's flooding, I've seen elephants crossing there and that's very, very interesting with the babies. They don't actually hold on to the tails, but what the elephants do is they will go downstream of the babies, and a little bit downstream, not far at all, and they start to form this line across the river and the babies then get pushed by the flow of water up against the mothers and the mothers slowly guide them with their trunks using their body as a stop for those little baby elephants and then they cross the river like that with all the babies upstream of the mom and it's quite amazing to how delicate they are and how protective they are and how clever they are to know that when the water is flowing at that rate that the little baby is going to be washed away so they use their body and their bulk and size to be able to create a block for that baby to be pushed up against them and then they can cross quite nicely so quite amazing but in long grass I've never really seen them holding on to tails of their mom they generally are quite fine in the long grass they're able to cope and find a way through no problem they just look up and see where mom is and follow that pathway so Miss Sky you're asking how tall elephants can get well the biggest elephant was an elephant that was unfortunately shot in 
Angola. And as far as I remember, that elephant at shoulder height was standing, I must just think now exactly what the figures were, but I think it was 8 meters, I'll check it for you, but it was 8 meters, which is a very, very, very tall elephant, but I think that might be a bit much. Let me check it and make 100% sure, but they do get very, very tall. Females, obviously, not as tall as the